Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and before we get started on the video and I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to say thank you to a few people who have supported us by giving a donation through Buy Me a Coffee, and if you don't know what that is, there's a link below. You can go over and read about it. Uh, Veronica Carol, hang on, my pen's not writing. Veronica Carol, Rebecca, Miriam, uh, Linda, Eva, Betty, Teresa, Joanne, Elvia, Doris, So Crafty Me, uh, DWCLANA, Janet. Thank you guys so, so much for giving us a donation through Buy Me a Coffee. We really, really appreciate it. We're using it for our YouTube supplies and our YouTube channel. Now, we do have a new camera. Let me see. What did I do with the box? I was going to show you the camera, but the box is not right here beside me. I have it hooked up to another computer, and I've been playing around with it and doing some videos and seeing how they look and doing a bunch of different movements and zooming in and all that to see if it's going to work right. And so far, it's okay. I've got one more thing I've got to learn how to do on it, and it'll be ready to go up. I'm still reading and watching some videos on that one. You know, this old mind, sometimes it takes me a little while to get to know how to do certain things. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do today is a challenge that Melina actually gave us. And I will link her video below where she gave us the challenge. And it is to punch out, use a punch, or you can use a die cutter like a Cricut, or you can just cut out some circles. Woo! You didn't want to see that face, did you? These are one and a half inch, and you need to punch out a bunch of these and... You see how many you can get done and decorated. We're going to make little clusters in 30 minutes. I think that's what she told me. <laughs> so she says the timer doesn't start until after you get them punched. So, well, come out. That's a good thing it doesn't start. I'm just going to use some of these pieces that we used yesterday to when we were making our mess making of our... Uh, Traveler's Notebooks. So, that's what we're going to use today. Now, she wants everybody to participate in this challenge, so I am going to give you the link to her video. You can go over. She can explain it much better than me, I am sure. And you just need to go over there, check out what she says that you need to do. But I'm thinking that it's what you can make out of these in 30 minutes I think that's what she told me little clusters and we all like clusters to use in our journals now you don't have to use the inch and a half one if you have one that's bigger and you'd rather make bigger clusters then that's fine make whatever size that you need for your journal I use some small ones but then I use some large ones too so and that's going to be probably a lot more than what I can get done in 30 minutes. I was a little bit overzealous there, wasn't I? Okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to set our timer for 30 minutes. And I'm going to hit start. Now, you can put anything that you want on these clusters. But she did say that one of the things is you ink around them. I know a lot of people don't do a lot of inking and this is one way just a simple way to get you started in your inking you can see how how you look with an inked if you don't like it inked then you can always just leave it off but i particularly you know that i ink just about everything now i think she said that the inking wasn't included in the 30 minutes either but i've already started my timer so i'm not going to worry about it i can ink real real quick real real quick I, I can't even talk today real, real quick oh guys we got our new shirts in i just sent out a um email to you guys so if you want one you better grab it in a hurry there's only a few mediums and i know some of you had said that you wanted a medium so go over and grab them they'll they'll not last long i promise you okay Just gonna ink up one or two more and then we'll start making our clusters. 
Now I'll put these that I don't have inked over here. If we get these finished, then we'll start on those. Now I have just grabbed a bunch of my scraps and some scrap lace and trims and I have got brought in some of Betty's brand new labels that she has got in her shop. I'll link those below. And then here is my little bag of scraps. And I'm just going to dump those out right there. I have also got some book, old book page and some vellum and things like that. So we're just going to kind of start and put things down. Let's see. You know I like, like my vellum on there. And I like to ink everything that I put on there. You don't have to do that, but I, I like doing that. Boy, 30 minutes is not long. I'm afraid I won't get but one done. You know how slow I am. All right. Well, that's too big. Let's just half it. We can use half on one and half on the other. Now, some people like small clusters, and then, then there's some people that like the large ones. So, you pick out what size that you want for yours and... We'll do it that way. I've got some large ones in my stash, so I'm just going to do some small ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer that up, and then I'll start my gluing process. I like to look at it first before I glue. And you could probably staple if you don't want to glue, or you could stitch it any way that you want to go about it. I'm going to cut, cut that in half, too. All right, put that there. And then I'm gonna put one of Betty's cute little labels on the top. Let's just put, uh, your only limit is your mind, okay? Let's put that one down. Remember, she still has this 15% uh, off on any items in her store as long as you use our name, our store name, Scrapbooking With Me. So you need to go over there and take advantage of that. I don't know how long it'll last, but I would take advantage of it while it's lasting. Okay. I'm just going to try to glue this down with Art Glitter Glue. I'm pretty sure it'll do it. It's just I'm, I'll have to leave it for a while to let it dry, and that's okay. And then we'll put this label right on the top. And there is our first little cluster. Isn't that cute? All right, let's pull another one in here. Let's just pull this one in. And I think I'll start with some lace on this one. I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna start just putting things down. So there's my lace. And I've already got some here. Don't get any more, Edith. Put that down. Then what do we want? Um, I think I want a little bit of this green. I'm going to take a little piece of the Edith Holden book page here. Take a little piece of that. We'll put that right on top. And I'm only gluing right in the middle. That just seems to work better for me. Um, then let's see what another label is that we want to use. Oh, this one's cute. Be you, do you, for you. I like that. Okay, there's that one. All right, let's do one and let's kind of stagger everything so it makes the cluster bigger. Even though we started out with just that size, we can make this cluster larger if we want just by staggering our product or our pieces like that. 
And then let's put a piece of this on there. That's pretty. All of my babies just left, and now I'm lonesome. I miss them when they're gone. When they're here, sometimes I'd like to pinch their little heads off, but when they leave, I'm I'm all lonesome. I miss them. So, yeah, most of the time, they're really good. I don't have any trouble out of them. Let's see. What do I want to put down there? I guess I'll just put another piece of lace. What about this across there? They're good young'uns. I do miss them, but you know, they'll be here most of the summer, so. Okay, and I know a lot of grandparents don't have it as lucky as I do. They don't have their grandbabies close by, so. I know that makes it really, really hard on you. put the glue on that side and I'm just going to lay that like that now we've got kind of an odd shape little cluster going here but we're going to kind of pull it together with a label and I'm just going to put this label across there that says inspire I like putting labels on the top of them it just kind of brings everything together I think We're going to put it across like that. And there, I'm going to tear that off just a little bit. That's sticking out a little bit too much. There is another cluster, but it's a larger cluster. Even though I used that same little piece, I made a larger cluster out of it. So if you want one larger and you don't want to cut anything any bigger than this, you can still make it larger. Okay, let's start off with some book page. That's always a, this is a vintage book page that I got from, I'm thinking this came from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And I'm gonna put a good size piece of that down, like that. And then I'm gonna pull in, what am I gonna pull in? Where are my, um, I, I tell you, I don't have a lot of scraps. I have just about used a lot of my scraps up when we did all that creating last week. So we'll put this down on there. And I'm just going to crisscross it. I'm going to turn it a different way so I can still see that book page back there. That's pretty. I like that. I'm just going to put a little bit of lace on top of that because I don't want to cover that up completely. And I'm thinking I'll just cut this flower out right here and put that up there. Which side is this side? I guess it's the right side. And we'll put that right there. Then you can still see that flower underneath. And then maybe just a small little label. Maybe something tiny. Uh, let's see. Maybe we could just cut this one down and put that joy there. Just right in the center of that flower. go press that down and there's another little cluster 
Okay, let's see. What shall we start off with this time? Let's start off with a little bit of this. I'm just going to tear it. I'm not even going to try to tear it in a circle, but just tear it a little bit. Now you could put buttons on this. You could put more circles on this. You could put lots of different things on here. So don't limit yourself to just things like I'm using. Go through and put what you like on there. I'm trying to find some really pretty paper in here. like that it's got some pretty flowers on it okay and then I'm just gonna turn that this way so that I can still see that piece underneath then what then what then what um, Let's just put a piece of this on there. This is just a piece of, what is this a piece of? Um, I think it's just like some cotton material. I, I mean, it's not anything special, special. Just something that I had in my stash that somebody gave me or either I tore up a piece of, I don't know, sheet or who knows what I tore up. Okay, let's find something else to go on top of that. I don't know what I want to put on top of that though. Maybe just a little piece of this. I love clusters. Clusters are really, really good to use in your journals. Oh, that's going to be really big, isn't it? It's going to cover up most of my material. Let's just tear it in half. Ink that side right there. And then I've still got enough glue that we can just put it down like that. Not a problem. Then we'll put another little word on here. Or this is a group of words. Uh, let's see. You never fall until you stop trying. You know, that's, that's right in crafting. But now I fall all the time. And I don't even try to fall. <laughs> Betty, I'm sorry. I'm just making a funny. She does have some beautiful sayings in some of these. Some really pretty that I've not seen before anywhere else. And tomorrow, I'll have to show you guys what she sent me. She sent me a funny. Okay, we'll put that on there. Let's put a little piece of this on here. Oops. Strings. Piece of that down. You gave my husband a fright, Betty. I want to tell you that. He was like, whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this. This is that piece of book page that came in your kit for May. You know, you got some of these in your kit. And this is the one that I used. And I put um, some gesso on there. Some clear gesso. So that's what this is. It's nice and strong now. Nice and sturdy. We're going to use that on there. And I'm going to slide it over just so that I can see some of the other pieces that are underneath. Like that. And then, let's see, what will we do now? I don't think I want the blue lace on there. I don't think I'm going to put a piece of lace on this one. I want to put a piece of bellum right here at the top. Going to tear a small piece. I 
I've not made clusters in a circle before. Of course, mine are not staying in a circle, but you know what I mean. I've not made them where you start off with a circle, so this is a challenge to me. I want to do every. I want to tear everything in a circular um, fashion, and it doesn't have to be. Let's put this one on there that says "Be patient." That's something that a lot of us don't have is patience. Okay, and I'm just going to lay that across there. And there is another cluster. Okay. I know my timer's probably going to go off any second now because I am slow, slow, slow. Oh, this is a pretty piece. Let's tear us out a piece of that and put it on there. We sent out an email also letting you know about our Memorial Day sale. Or it's really a Memorial Weekend sale. It starts at 6 o'clock tonight. And you'll probably already be watching this when it's 6 p.m. Because it's already close to 5 and I haven't even edited it yet. So, But it starts at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And it goes throughout the weekend or until everything sells out so you've got to make sure that you check that out because it's 20% off that's that's the lowest that we're gonna put a sale on I can guarantee you that it's a big deal a big sale uh, let's see what are we gonna put on there let's put journal on there but I do want to cut it out a little bit more so I'm just going to trim. She's got three or four different um, little layers here. So I'm just going to trim down some of them. There we go. And this is not something you have to do. You don't have to put a label on yours. You can just put something else on the top if you want. I just tend to like the labels. Um, let's do one. We won't put a label on there. Let's just put this little piece. No, that won't show if we put it way down there. Put a little piece of book page on. Then we can put a piece of this on there. I've got strings attached to everything. Okay, let's turn that that way. And grab another little flower of some kind. Let's just put this little group of flowers right here. Like that. Okay. Then what shall we put? Um, hmm. I think I might just put a little piece of this book page. Um. I just put a little grouping of these words. I just wanted to make sure that the, any of the words that are in here are not bad words. I don't think they are, but I wanted to make sure. Yeah, they're good. Just a little grouping of words on there. You could also use your Tim Holtz words. The little Tim Holtz words that we most of us have. See, now I still feel like there should be some little something there on the top, so I'm going to put a button on there. Let's see what button I want to put on there. Well, first off, let's dump them all out, and then we'll see. Nope, that one doesn't show. That one shows. Let's put that one on there. Yeah, see now I like that. I, I like that focal point on the top. I know that 
you might not always be able to get that focal point but to me it looks better to have some kind of focal point on the top whether it be a flower a button you know some trim whatever and I'd love to put a flower on top but I don't think I have any flowers that are this small I don't believe but we're gonna check in just a second my time is probably gonna go in just a minute all right we're gonna put that there and then I'm gonna put another piece of this Edith Holden book page I'm I have been hoarding this you guys know because I'm out I didn't want to use it but that's all I had left and I decided I better use it needs to go on something so it can go in our journals and these are just the right size for those travelers notebook journals that I made last night these little clusters are just the right size they're not too big they fit good and they'll work well in there all right I'm trying to find another piece of something I'm just looking through my little stash over here oh there's a pretty flower right there we could fussy cut with our fingers okay let's try to put that down there and I'm going to kind of offset it because I still want to see everything that's underneath it I know I have people that say well you make a cluster and then you cover up everything that's underneath well I try not to but sometimes you know depending on what kind of cluster you're making you yes you do cover up some things but as long as you leave just a little piece of it peeking out like we've got everything peeking out except this little piece as long as you leave a little piece peeking out from under there then you're good that's basically what you're trying to do and I'm just going to put a little piece of that the lace part that's real real thin on there try to press it down so that that glue doesn't show through hopefully that'll work and then I am going to grab hold on I know I may be making a noise right there at the microphone I'm going to grab one of Betty's little butterflies and we're going to put that in the middle she cut out some little butterflies and sent them to me and I just I think they're so cute um, I'd really rather have another color let's see what we got in here oh come on now you know, when you're trying to find it and you're in a hurry, you can't. You know what? Let's just use that one. I don't see a different color in there that I want to use right now. So we'll put a little bit of ink on that. And it will be fine. It will work well. We'll put this little butterfly down right over here and make him look like he's just flying right into that flower. Get a little juice there's that one cute oh I need to can you believe it I need to ink another this one I'm gonna make tiny tiny so that we can still see everything on the back side now I make bigger clusters but Melina makes small clusters she's very dainty in all of her work so she makes smaller clusters you may be one of those who likes smaller clusters and if you are then well this is what we're going to make on this one i'm going to use little bitty pieces of everything little tiny pieces of book page little tiny pieces of ephemera let's tear that little piece off put that there Okay, then we shall grab something else, and I don't know what. Um, 
Okay, let's take a little piece of this ledger paper. Just a tiny little piece. And we'll put that right there. So now you can still see everything, even that back piece. And then we shall, what shall we do from here? Let's just, you know, it doesn't have any of that color in it. Let's put a tiny, tiny little piece of this on there. A little piece of material that was just in my stash right there. And then I have this little flower here that e -paper -y sent. They made it. And I think I'm going to put that right there on the top. That was my last one over there. And that's a little tiny, tiny cluster. Isn't that cute? Flowers are really cute to put on the top of them, too. Whoops. So let's ink again. Let's make another small one. I liked that. I can't believe my timer hadn't gone off. It's my phone died. I know it's been 30 minutes. Okay, there's that. Put a little tiny piece of vellum on there. And let's see, put a little, little piece of this be pretty okay slide that over where we can still see our other pieces underneath and then uh, I think I'm gonna tear this little flower out this is just my last little pieces of Edith Holden there and I'm going to put that down here, I think. Oh, it's going to be too big. Let me just keep trimming just a little bit. You'll still be able to make out the flower. You don't have to have every little petal to tell what it is. Still be able to know that that's a flower. Oh, my timer is going off. It's just that I've got my phone turned off right now so that I wouldn't disturb everybody. Oh, I didn't glue that down. I didn't think I want that on there anyway. There we go. We got a little flower on there on that one. So there is another little cluster. Now, since my timer's gone off, we will stop here. But I wanted to tell you, you can glue some little paper clips to the back of this and make these little clip-ons. Or you can leave them like they are and then just glue them down on your page. You can glue them right at the top and have it where it'll just slide onto your page. Like, let's say, let me look here. Let me find a piece. Like, let's say we're going to make this a tag. You could glue just right there at the top and let that be your little tag topper. And then you could still slide another piece up under that, like that. So let's just do that. It's hard for me to tell you how to do it. I'd rather show you. And I'm just going to leave that whole thing. I know I didn't cut that straight, but I'm just going to leave that whole thing like it is. I will use it. I'm going to glue just right here at the top, just a little place. And then I'm going to glue it down just like, oops, there. You just let just a tiny bit stick over the top, just so that's a topper. You can go ahead and cut your little tag shape if you want. I think these make really pretty toppers, especially when you put some little flowers on them or something like that. Okay, we've cut our tag shape like that. And now you have, and let's see if we can get this a little straighter. Now you have a little tag, <coughs> excuse me, that you can ink around. 
and then let's say I wanted to clip something find something here that will want to clip <laughs> I don't know this is not what I would clip on there but you wanted to clip something else under there you can just I, this is not completely dry so I'm gonna be very very careful tuck it up under like that and then you've got another little tuck on that tag so a tag tuck that's what we could call those little tag tucks so let's see what else we might have that we want to put on there we could just do a little tag tuck right there oh this is pretty I think she may be too big though yeah she's a little bit big let's find something different I'm just digging through a few little scrap pieces right here well, let's say we just want to put a little card under there there's a little card right there you can just tuck that up under and I like to skew it a little bit to the side and there you go you've got a little tag tuck for the top so you could turn these into little tag tucks if you wanted to or you can use them as clusters or you can use them as both either way you want to I just think they're really cute to use them any way that you want you can put them down just in your journal like that glue on one side and still have a little tuck there so that is it so go over and check out Melina's channel get in on her challenge who knows what she's gonna do she may have a giveaway she may just have a challenge going on I don't know she didn't tell me that part she just told me to make some of these that she was challenging me to make these so I did let's see how many I got done this one I finished just as the clock went off so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I got eleven finished I think that's all of them yeah and I've got three more cut out so I'll go ahead and do those off camera but that is it guys I hope you enjoyed this if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button don't forget about our sale that will be going on and don't forget about the new shirts that are up in the next video I'll show you uh, the shirts and what color they are and all of that kind of stuff all right we will talk to you guys later bye bye